Hi guys, so many of you have asked us to do an evening routine with the children um, and then kind of just show you what our evening looks like in terms of like how we and will work at night um, because we do do <laughs> a lot of work um, generally after the kids are asleep. So we will take you along for the ride and show you what we do. All right, so at this time in the evening, we do our evening routine with the girls, which is just brushing their teeth, washing their faces and their hands and their feet and flossing their teeth and brushing their hair. We've kept an evening routine for a very, very long time. It just helps gear them up and get them ready for bed and helps to relax them. And then we'll often just uh, get them to pray with us right before bed, something that they really love to do with us. So what are you girls doing? Magic drink. So we give the girls magnesium and probiotics before bed. Excuse me. And we call it a magic drink. Izzy, hey what do we do after we're getting, have our PJs and everything on? A story. We do a story? Yeah. Have we always done stories? Yeah. What's your absolute favoriteest storybook? The suspense is killing. Can you tell me what your favorite story is? The Marita book one. Marita? That, I, that I'm making. <gasps> oh, you're Marita's making your own story. Too. Why is story time so important to us? Because we've done it since kids were born. This is like a okay. six year tradition. Yeah. That's and right. my favorite storybook is Nighty Night Sleep Tight. That was oh, the first book I, I think we ever, I one of the first books we ever had, and we read it continuously for months. We've got it memorized, right? Okay, so what storybook are we reading today? My first book about Prophet Muhammad. This is a good book. Muhammad, peace be upon him, shared Allah's words with everyone. Some people listened and began to believe. Girls, who's that guy? Honey Bunny. And you've had him since when? Or her? <laughs> Before we were born, maybe? Yep. I don't want to talk about And this is Napa. I'm from Jerusalem. Yeah. From yeah. Jerusalem? Yeah, he's Jer made wow. in Jerusalem, um, hey? You remember that? That's special. You guys what made, he, made he's a mystery. Yeah, and they, they, they've been sleeping with them every single night. They everywhere. Have, everywhere. I'm, they've I'm, traveled everywhere with us. I'm five and I still have her, him. He's, her, him? She, <laughs> she's four and she still has That's right. her. So these are the two loveys. The one on the left is Napa Baby, and this is Honey Bunny. And the girls have had these since they were teeny tiny little newborns, and they sleep with them every single night. Super special little companions. Basically, they're their besties. So once we put the girls down after we read them a story, um, we give them one-on-one -on -one time. So I will go in and lay down with Zainab and do lullabies and duas and bedtime affirmations. Um, if you guys watch their Get to Know Us, the Sale Kids video, I'll link it down below. Um, you can listen to Zainab doing her bedtime affirmations. It's something that we do every single day. We never miss it. Um, I feel like it's super important for kids to know these things. And then after we do that, then we switch off because um, Will during that time is with Amina doing basically the exact same thing. And then we switch off and Will will come and snuggle Zainab and do the same thing, lullabies, that kind of thing. And then I will go and do the waz um, and lullabies with Amina. And then we will put them down after they we close the doors, we put their sound machines on. They've used <laughs> sound machines since they were born. Um, hashtag parent life. And then after that, we just watch them on the baby monitor until they fall asleep and then we will go and get to work. I'm gonna do affirmations. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm brave. I'm brave. I'm loved. I'm loved. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I sleep all night. Sleep all night. I wake up at night. I sleep all night. And I meet mommy and daddy. I'm so happy. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Yeah. Can we do everything with the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Jason, good night to everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. And see you next time. See you next time. This is Amina's room. We close the blinds and it'll get dark as the sun sets. And then we have her sound machine going on down here and we have
have a little heater going and that's how she'll go to sleep. So we always work on our sudas. Which one are we working on right now? Suda coffee no. Yeah, that's right. And you're doing and, such a good and she'll job. And show them what it um, means. Yeah, it tells you to hold strong to your Islamic identity. Say goodnight to everybody. Goodnight. <laughs> Lay down. Yeah. All right, sweetie. Love you. I love you. Love you. I love you. See you in the morning, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't get nothing in the night. Oh. Let's go home, Keisha. And then this week. So the girls are now in bed. And we're those type of parents. <laughs> but you can only have audio for one child. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have another monitor just for audio. <laughs> I have to turn this one on for. And that's why we have that monitor going. And this one. Why do we still watch our kids? <laughs> I don't know. Because our kids still wake up and our kids still say, Mom, Dad, I had a bad dream or I need to use the washroom or whatever. So rather than them come in here and wake me up, it's easier for us just to go there and get them to do their thing. A few moments later. All right, everybody. So the kids are fast asleep now, and it is time for Maghrib, which is the sunset prayer. So we are going to do that, and then we're actually going to go to work and record a podcast. So stay tuned. Hey, guys. So the girls are now fast asleep, and it's time for me and Will to record our podcast. Uh, if you guys don't know, we have a podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, Google Podcasts, basically every platform, um, including Anchor. If you don't have any of those or access to those, you can access it for free on Anchor. Um, so hi, Will. Hi. Um, and we've been doing it for how long, Will? How long has it been? Uh, since... October or December of last year? Yeah, so we've been doing it since last year and we try to get an episode out every week, but we haven't in the last, I think, two-ish, two, two three weeks three maybe. Uh, with everything, Yeah, with everything happening in uh, Palestine, we just didn't really feel like producing content. We felt like there was more important things we could be doing, which we did, but yeah. at the same time, um, one of those important things that we can be doing is spreading awareness. So that's what we're going to be speaking about on this episode of our podcast. Yeah, correct. So um, the episode should be out by the time this airs on YouTube, yep. right? So we'll actually link the episode down below and you guys can check it out. Uh, it's going to be about Palestine, free Palestine. Yes. And here we are recording our podcast. Guys, if you haven't checked it out, it is Saleh Family Speaks, and you can find it across all of the platforms. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, we have our podcast. Um, we started our podcast because we love to go in-depth and talk about things that are important to us. And it doesn't have to be a specific thing to a culture or religion. We literally will talk about anything. Um, so from time to time, we do have special guests. We do have quite a bit of content lined up. Um, in the near future so if there's anything or anyone that you guys would like to hear us talk to or speak with do let us know in the comments for this video and we will most definitely try to make that happen all right everybody it is 10 47 babies are sleeping well, one's kind <laughs> of like somewhere upside down. <laughs> and we just wrapped up our podcast this episode will be about palestine and what is taking place um son is just about to edit it all up and get it out for monday morning like she always does because she's a champ I'm a tired champ. That's not her hair, by the way. It's an underscore. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to call it a night. We're actually not going to call it a night. We're actually going to go and watch the Hunger Games. Cause For the second time in a row. It's not the second time in a row. Oh, sorry. That's not what I meant. For the second For the mm. second time in Second general. time. Uh, you know what, guys? Interestingly enough, if you watch the Hunger Games and you know what's going on in Palestine, it is so eerily like mirrored of what is taking place, you know, the oppression of a certain people, the luxury you know, that is taking place with some of the people. It, it, I think there's a lot of subliminal messaging in that movie. Um, I would check it out. I would recommend checking it out. It's very powerful, especially once you once you make that correlation between yeah. what's going on you in the world. You can't unsee it. it. It's yeah. That's why you know, if you look on TikTok, you know everything that's going around, where she says, you know, uh, a message to President Snow, you know, if we burn, you burn with us. 
Um, it's pretty heavy, but uh, I'm gonna go make me a cup of sleepy time tea because that's what I love. I don't know if the wife wants any. I don't drink tea. A sleepy time tea, everybody thinks you cannot. I don't drink any tea. She so... did at some point. No, I it's don't true. drink tea. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're gonna leave it there. Um, thanks for joining us. This is kind of on average, roughly what we do in a day. Um, obviously we don't film or record our podcast every day, although we should. If we are not recording our podcast after the kids go to sleep, we are usually in the basement packaging orders or dyeing hijabs or folding hijabs or... Or making content for TikTok or YouTube. Exactly. Or filming content. That's something that we do. So. Definitely. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thank Take you care. guys. Bye-bye.